Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been to my channel before and this is your very first video of mine, then hey, welcome, I'm Brittany and I go by Girl Meets Pixels here on YouTube and I make Sims Let's Plays, I do a lot of house renovations and decorating videos for The Sims 3, sometimes Sims 4 and also for The Sims 2. And I also play some other games. I play some Minecraft and that's kind of about it. It's kind of Minecraft and Sims. But yeah, anyways, welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Pets and Generations. Woo, yeah. Guys, it has taken me forever to finally post this video and to actually sit down and just record it just in general. I have been working on this Let's Play for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Uh, just because I wanted to have everything perfect and I just wanted everything just to be all put together so that like it's just all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. I know you guys are so pumped. I did hold a poll back a couple weeks ago because uh, this is our 9,000 subby special video. This is the new Let's Play that we get to do because we reached 9,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, so you guys voted for pets. That was the most top rated expansion pack based LP that you guys wanted. And here we are. So my plan all along was whatever you guys voted for, I was going to make that a generations LP along with it. So it's kind of just two LPs in one kind of basically. Um, I felt like a generations LP just by itself would just be too boring. And honestly, a pets LP by itself, I feel would also be kind of too boring. So yeah. We're just combining it. It's going to be all good. And I'm really excited. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start off by introducing our super awesome Sims that are going to be the basis and the founders of this LP. I do want to do multiple seasons for this LP. So throughout the generations, maybe we'll just make it like a generational LP. So um, there'll be different seasons with uh, the different generations of the family. That's what I'm thinking, but we're not there yet. That's, <laughs> that's a while from now. So we got some time. We got some time. Uh, this right here is Ryland Connors, and he is just this little cutie. Like, oh, look how cute he is. <laughs> uh, he has blonde hair and blue eyes, and um, he has little freckles. And his background is that he's actually Irish. And well, his family is Irish. He's not from Ireland or anything, but his family is like full on Irish. He comes from a huge family with lots of brothers, lots of sisters. And he's just used to that really big family atmosphere. And he hopes to one day have the same thing. Uh, so his name is Ryland. And I'm not going to show you guys all his outfits or anything. Uh, you guys will see it throughout the, the Let's Play, of course. Uh, but this is his summer outfit. This is the beginning outfit we're going to start with. Uh, but I'm really excited. I did want to mix up the genetics a bit for um, each of the Sims so that our babies can be like all unique and different and cute and whatnot. So uh, yeah, so this is Ryland here. I think he's a cutie. And... I don't know. He's just adorable. He's just so adorable to me. I don't know why. <laughs> so for his traits, he is an animal lover, family oriented, friendly, frugal, and a schmoozer, uh, which will help him at work. You know, he's, he kind of sucks up to his friends and his coworkers and his boss just a little bit in like a completely harmful or harmful. Oh my gosh. In a completely non harmful way. Uh, he's just, that's just how he is. He's not super charismatic exactly, but he just, he kind of knows what to say to suck up to the boss, but it's all, like, it's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Um, anyways, that was, like, the second time I've said that in this, like, it's only been, like, five minutes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can't keep saying it's good in the neighborhood. Oh, my goodness. Uh, anyway, so for his lifetime wish, he is the Ark Builder, which means he wants to have two cats, two dogs, two horses, two birds, two lizards, two turtles, two rodents, two snakes, two butterflies, and two beetles. Um, I have never done this before, and I'm guessing it doesn't have to all be at once, hopefully, like, <laughs> we're going to have a crazy house, guys, like, our house is going to be filled with so many pets and so many animals, it's going to be chaos, but I'm excited for it, so, yeah, never fully done this before, if you guys have any tips, if you guys have completed the Ark Builder Lifetime Wish, definitely comment down below, let me know like some ideas or tips and tricks that you guys can help me out with, because I have never done this before, but I really want to, I think it'll be very interesting, I think it'll be fun. Uh, for his favorites, his favorite food is pancakes, which sounds delicious right now, to be quite honest. Uh, favorite music is R&B, and his favorite color is aqua, and this is his voice. 
<laughs> pretty good. Uh, and then his astrological sign is that he's a Sagittarius. So this is Ryland. He's the he's gonna be the dad of the family. And I don't want to make him like the classic like businessman. Uh, I do know that for the career wise, I do want to put him in the teaching career or in the education career. I think I definitely see him just being a teacher uh, and teaching, you know, kids at school and everything. I don't know. That's just how I see him. Uh, I don't want to do like the classic. He's a businessman. His wife stays at home. I don't really want to do that. He definitely is going to be very involved with his kids lives and involved with a lot of pets as well. So I'm excited about him. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Okay, so this next sim here is Evelyn Ritchie, and she is like so flawless though. She like slays my life. Her outfit is so cute. I figured they are young. Uh, they are a young couple. They're just boyfriend and girlfriend. So, you know, she can pull off the crop top and the cute like high-waisted shorts, even though eventually, you know, she'll be a mom. And I do plan on putting her in the daycare career just because I've never fully gone to play it before and I really want to. Anyway, so Evelyn here comes from an Italian family. So I wanted to kind of give two different uh, backgrounds uh, ethnicity wise. And so she comes from a very big Italian family and she grew up actually with just all sisters. And that was an interesting time for her. It was just very chaotic, a lot of talking, a lot of fighting. And she hated that her sisters always stole her clothes. She was like the random like middle child. She wasn't the oldest, she wasn't the youngest. Uh, but she just came from a really big family and she loved it. She loved how in love her parents were, even though they'd been married for 20, 30 years. And she wants that in her life. She wants to have that big family with that really steady, strong marriage and to also have a bunch of pets. She never had pets growing up because her uh, mom was allergic to all cats and dogs and everything. And so she never had to, she never got any pets in her life. And so she was really sad about that. So she's excited that uh, Ryland is so into pets that they're going to just have a house full of kids and pets. And it's just gonna be super awesome. So this is Evelyn. And uh, like I said, her outfits I will show just throughout the LP. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna load all that up right now. That's like so much work. Um, anyway, so for her traits, she is eco-friendly and frugal, which is what she has in common with uh, Ryland. And I picked frugal for them just because they both come from very big families and I come from a big family. And when you have that many kids, like you have to be frugal and you have to use those coupons. You have to be smart about your money and everything just because there's so many people to feed and to take care of and to clothe. So um, they both understand uh, the importance of being frugal. Uh, she also loves the outdoors. Uh, she's nurturing. She just kind of has that like maternal instinct already just there. And she's also a vegetarian, which is pretty interesting, but that's something kind of new for her. She recently became a vegetarian and she loves it. She loves being healthy and she wants her family to be very healthy. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and then her lifetime wish is that she is surrounded by family, which is the classic raise five children from babies to teenagers, which means we will be having a minimum of five children, guys. Yes, I know. Start praying for me. It's going to be craziness. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. Her favorite food is spaghetti with veggie sauce. Her favorite music is indie music. And her favorite color is seafoam. And this is her voice. Yep, that's her voice. Uh, and she is a Libra. So she's very balanced. And is that she kind of can balance out uh, the craziness of Ryland because Ryland he's he's a Sagittarius so he loves the adventure he loves doing fun random things and she kind of is more of like well let's be logical about this so they balance each other really well without it being too opposite uh, so yeah so that is Evelyn I think she's so pretty and it, ugh, they're going to have gorgeous children guys like my voice crack and everything but like they're going to have super cute children like I just I can't deal, like I can't deal at all. Um, anyways, next member of the family is this little cutie. Oh, she's so cute. This is Gracie Connors, and this is actually um, Rylan's cat. Uh, and so this is Gracie, she's super cute. She has like a little bell collar, and she's a Himalayan, I'm pretty sure is what she is, and she's super cute. So Gracie here is going to be the one kicking off <laughs> the start of our pets portion of this LP. And with Gracie, she's going to be having cute like little babies, which I'm so excited about. Uh, we'll probably, I don't know if we'll adopt a cat or she'll just meet some little cat on the street. I don't know yet, um, but she's going to have babies and that's for sure. Uh, and so I want to, throughout this LP, have 
you know, cats and the dogs and the horses and the birds. Like I want all the pets from the pets expansion pack to be in this LP. Uh, so even if we have to do it throughout the generations, that's totally fine with me, but we're just starting it off with cats. I didn't want to give them like a cat and a dog and a horse. Like that's just like too much. So we're starting off small. I think it'll work out. I think it'll be great. Uh, but yeah, so this is Gracie. And her traits are that she's clueless, <laughs> which means she kind of forgets uh, the things that she's doing, but it's okay, right? Uh, she's a hyper little kitty, which means she has a lot of energy and she's playful. So to get out that energy, she always wants to go and have fun and play with her owners. And she's a very friendly cat, which I think is good. Uh, it will be easier for us to <laughs> have her have babies with some other cat. Uh, here's her voice. I don't know if it really matters, but... That's her voice. It's so cute though. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's Gracie Connors. She's super cute. And like I said, technically Ryland, this is his cat just because uh, Evelyn and Ryland actually just moved in with each other. Like I said, they are boyfriend and girlfriend. They aren't, uh, I want them to get married in this LP. So I'm not starting them off married. Although normally that's probably what I would do just to like make it easier for me. Uh, but they are just boyfriend and girlfriend. And they don't have too much of like a major backstory. I really didn't have anything too crazy. Uh, besides the fact that they've known each other since middle school and they just went to school together. They went through middle school and high school. They saw each other grow up through puberty and all that fun stuff. You know, those are like the ugly years. <laughs> I feel like everyone experiences like in middle school to high school is like the ugly years. You're just like, wow, I looked like that. They got to experience that together, which a lot of couples don't get to do. So uh, they didn't really date or anything until towards the end of high school, uh, and then they actually went their separate ways for college, and then eventually kind of found their way back to each other after they both moved back to their hometown. But recently, Ryland got a job offer to teach at this school in the world. I'm going to be showing you guys in a second, and they decided to move there together and kind of start their lives together. So they're kind of doing it all for Ryland, but that's okay. Evelyn's excited and she wants to start a daycare and take care of kids because she grew up babysitting her younger sisters and she feels like that's something that she could do. And eventually when they have kids, she'll be able to take care of the kids and take care of those other toddlers. So yeah, that's her plan. Anyways, let's hop into the world. I already have their house set up for them and I will show you guys where they're going to live. Okay, so we are here in the world that we're going to be playing in and it's actually a world I've never played in before. So I'm really excited about that. It's not populated, so I will need to go in by the next part and just fill it in with some townies and populated and do all that fun stuff. But uh, we are in the world of Queenstown, which was created by Awesomes, I think. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I will link down uh, below the description bar, the link to download this town. It is a gorgeous world. It is a huge world and it's, I don't know how many expansion packs it's for, but I know that it has a really big like pets em emphasis because they updated it for pets. So all along here, there's like a pet store here. There's the horse stuff over here. Uh, you can build your own farmhouse. Um, there's like honestly so much to do in this town. This is like the city center. Uh, there's like a lot of shops and all that good stuff, uh, houses and science stuff. And like, it's a huge world. They can go, I think camping over here. Like there is just so much to do. And once I fill it in with, uh, you know, more Sims and everything, this is pretty empty over here. So we'll have to go in, maybe add some cool stuff, maybe some clubs or nightclubs or something like that. I think that'd be fun. Although I think there is some clubs in here, I think. Uh, but yeah, there's just like so much to do. It's not too city of a world. It's not too country of a world. It's just kind of like, a nice medium. So I'm really excited about this to really explore this town and to explore this world because I never have gone to play here before, but it's been sitting uh, in my folder for like ever. Uh, anyways, so we're going to move in our household. Hopefully they, they can afford the house. I'm pretty sure they should be able to. <laughs> anyways, here we have the Connors family. Uh, well, technically it's Connors and Richie family, uh, but eventually when they get married, they'll be the Connors. It's all good. Um, oh yes, they can. Wait, is this the home? Yes, this is the home. Okay, so I did go in and already furnished it because <laughs> I wanted that just to be all prepared and out of the way. So we're going to purchase this house furnished. And this is the cutest like little neighborhood. I cannot wait to show you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to purchase this. They have a thousand simoleons left. I mean, it's decent. Hopefully it has everything we need. Hopefully it didn't mess up anything when I uh, move them in. Uh, but we'll see. But I'm really excited about this like town and this world and this house like oh I'm just so pumped guys I really am okay so it's just going to be a little laggy right now just because I am still like I've never played 
this world before or this save so it's gonna take some time for it to warm up uh, so we're actually not gonna play too much during this part this was just kind of me introducing everything and everyone uh, which is just kind of I know boring but in the next part we will be doing so much fun stuff so I'm really excited for that anyways this is our like little neighborhood area of where we live kind of more of like the starter homes but I will go in and fill this in with neighbors and they can have some friends and everything but look how cute this area is like oh I can't get over it. Uh, they have like this little fountain park area over here. Uh, and this is their house, which I did give a makeover to. I like recolored it, uh, added in all their furniture already, uh, which they actually have a little bit more money than I thought they would. So I would possibly be able to go in and add more stuff, but I'll give a little tour real quick. Uh, so this is the entryway and you come right on in and it's pretty small of a space, but I mean, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Uh, you have the bathroom. Whoops. Sorry. I told you it's going to be laggy. Um, you have the bathroom right away right here. It's just a shower and a toilet and a sink and a cat box, a little litter box. But I mean, it, it works. It works. Uh, over here, you have the kitchen, which is pretty cute. I think it's cute with this tile. I love this tile. I didn't know we had this in game and I just recolored it. So I love it. They have a microwave, uh, some uh, little workspace to cook in. It's not too fancy, of course. It's their first home together, but for now it works. Uh, and then they have like the little sitting area. They don't have a dining table, so this is <laughs> this is it. Uh, and they have a cat bowl for the food, little cat food. Uh, we have some cat toys and everything. They have one couch and a TV. <laughs> and this TV did come with Generations, I'm pretty sure. So I did try to go in and kind of use more of like Generations and pet stuff. So this is Generations, this is Generations. Uh, that's probably about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then over this way, there's like this little other room. It probably would be used for like a nursery or a baby room or uh, an office, but we're going to make this the little daycare room is very plain right now, which is, I probably can go in and like add more stuff to this now that I know how much money they have. So I'll probably by the next part have this more decorated. Uh, but this is the playroom for the kids. Uh, and I did make it so like they can just walk into here. It's just an archway instead of a door. And then over here is the master bedroom. Super tiny, but it's cute and it works. Uh, they have this really cute like bedspread and everything. They have one table. Uh, I couldn't fit in two because it's so tiny of a room. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it works, right? It works. So that's that. And then the outside is pretty cute. Eventually we can upgrade it. Uh, maybe add more rooms on or eventually just move and get a bigger house. I'm not sure yet. Obviously, that's like not for a while, like for a while. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, that's the house. And I'll show you guys a little bit of the world just because I honestly have not really been here. Oh, there's like a dog park over here. There's a playground and picnic area. Oh, what's this? It is a gorgeous world. Um, I don't know how much custom content is in it. I just kind of downloaded it. Uh, but like, oh, this is so cute. Like when we have kids, we can take them out here. That's adorable. This is gorgeous. There's like a picnic area and some swings. Like honestly, this world is just, oh, beautiful. This will be cute for like photos, like maybe engagement photos or something. Oh, I'm like getting all these ideas. <laughs> but like really though, it is a gorgeous world. Oh, there's another pond. Oh, they can go fishing here. I could totally see like Ryland fishing. I totally see him fishing. And honestly, I could see Evelyn going fishing with him. Anyways, and the path just continues through. So that's like a park area. That is just so pretty and so cute. Oh, I can't deal. I can't deal. Uh, over here, like I said, I think this is like a camping area or something. Oh, that's a house. Camping. They can go camping out here. Look how cute. Oh, and they can go fishing and then cook up their dinner. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's more camping over here. Oh, this is a mountain lodge. Oh, you can, st oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am so excited for this world. I have not played here, like I said. So you guys get to experience it with me and I am so excited. Okay, so this is more like the town city area. There is so much to do here. There's like so many cool bars. I can definitely see them going out to the bars, you know, after a long day of work and screaming children because they're both going to be working with children. Um, but this is such a cool world. There's another park area. It very much has a family vibe to it, but also it works for single Sims. It works for, you know, newly married couples. And like, 
elderly people. I could see people retiring here. There's so many cool things to do. There's a consignment shop, there's apartments. Yeah, I will definitely be linking this down below for you guys. Yeah, so you guys can check out this world because I love it so far and I have even played in it. Uh, but yeah, this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is like the art museum. There's a courtyard. What? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's like a little, like a little karate area. Oh my goodness, I can't deal. I can't deal. Anyways, oh, and there's like a bar over here. Subway. Oh, there's like they have subways around town, which is really nice. Uh, oh, this is probably where the kids will go to school, and this is probably where Ryland will be working. Is at this school over here. Ooh, I wonder if I can go in and add like a soccer area or something. I think that'd be cool. It's called Mountain View School. Oh, cute, because it's like right next to the mountain. Uh, anyways, yeah, there's like so much stuff to do. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak because I'm so excited. There is just so much stuff to do. There's a beach area, which is super awesome. Even though it's not like an island kind of beach, there's still like they can come boating and do windsurfing. Is this like a restaurant? Or is this like a... Oh, cool. You can come and do stuff here. <laughs> uh, there's a bar. There's so much to do in this town. I cannot wait to go in and populate it and just, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I am so excited. Uh, anyways, so I think I'm going to go in and end this part here. Um, I know it's just a lot of me just talking, which I'm so sorry for, guys. But in the next part, we will be doing so much. It'll be so much fun. And I will have this town populated more. And I will go in and maybe add some more decorations to the house just so they can have some more items because they do have quite a bit of money still. Uh, not that I want to use up all their money, but it, you know, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, anyways, if you guys have any ideas for this family, anything you're really looking forward to or you're excited about this or if you're not excited about this, just let me know down below. I am I'm honestly just so pumped for this. and I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. And yeah, sorry, I'm just talking so fast. I'm just so excited. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not already sub subscribed, make sure to click that button down below. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, guys.